So you want to get into software programming and if you're wondering which should be the first language to learn, so in this video we'll talk about which should be the first language to learn if you want to be a software developer. So welcome back aliens, I'm Navin Reddy from Thais for Learning and in this video we'll talk about which should be the first programming language you should learn. Now if you search for the same question on Google, you will get lots of answers. Now some posts will recommend you to go for C language, now some posts will recommend you to go for Python, then JavaScript and then PHP. Then what's the correct answer? So if you think that there's only one correct answer, then the, the thing is this video would have been short, right? Maybe one or two, two minutes, but you can see this is a lengthy video. So it is because there's no specific, re I mean there's, there's no specific language we should, we should learn first. I mean you can start with C programming language, that's fine. You can start with JavaScript directly, that's fine. You can start with Java also or you can go for PHP. But then which, to, which one to choose? So first of all, before going, before learning any programming language, just, I mean, just classify why you want to learn programming, I, why, why you, I mean, which field you want to get into. So if you want to get into web world and if you know that you want to get into web programming like web, web designing, website building, Go with, go with JavaScript. There is no harm in starting with JavaScript because in, in fact in JavaScript itself you will learn lots of things. You will learn about variables, you will learn about uh, how to use while loop, how to use for loop and that's what we learn right when you learn a new language. It doesn't matter which language you start with. The first code you will write is hello world for sure. The second, world, the second code you will write is addition of two numbers. Then you will go for uh, if else which is even odd numbers. You will go for loops. You will try to print the pattern. The same thing is applicable in all the languages. And if you know that you will be going for web development, why not directly start with JavaScript? Because if you can, if you can use JavaScript, the advantage is you can actually see something happening. You know, first of all, you have to learn Java, uh, HTML for that. So learn HTML, learn CSS and go for JavaScript so that you can actually make web pages and trust me, when you build your first web page you will feel happy, you know, you will get that confidence of uh, building, building a pages and then you can combine multiple pages you will get a website, right? So you can build your first website just by learning HTML, CSS and JavaScript but the only thing is that will be a static website, uh, you cannot work with uh, database and all those things but then you have a website, right? So if you want to build a website, go with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But then website development is not your main aim. You want to go for server side scripting or you want to just learn a programming language. I would recommend you to go for Python because Python is very, very easy to learn, at least in the initial phase. So if you, if you want to learn Python and if you want to learn it very easy, I mean, if you want to learn programming easily, go with Python. It's damn easy to work with. I mean, I mean I'm not uh, saying it is very, very, very easy, but it is easy to, easy to work with. Then, so if you want to go for web development, of course, go for JavaScript. If you want to go for server side scripting, if you want to learn programming, go for Python. But then if you're not sure, okay, if you're not sure what I want to do, I just want to learn a programming language, that's where people start with C. Because C is the first complete language, you know, if you want to, uh, if you want to be something in future and if you're not sure what you want to be, you have to, you have to follow certain steps. So you have to learn first learn C programming, you will understand what is programming, then learn C++, you will understand how to use objects inside C and then you can go ahead with Java because if you're not sure what to learn because if you, I mean if you're not sure what to be in future, learn Java and then you can get into everywhere, right? You will, I mean, while learning Java, you'll understand what you want to do. So you can get into any of the field because Java is everywhere, right? So if, because if you're not sure, then only go for this path, C, C++ and Java. But if, you're, if you know that you want to go for web designing, go for JavaScript. If you know that you want to just learn the programming language, go for Python. If you want to be, if you want to be open for everything, go for C, C++ and Java. Now let's say if you want to get into web, uh, big data world and if you're not sure what to learn for big data and you will understand that when you want to learn big data you will you have to learn Java. In that case, do we have to follow the entire path? Do we have to first learn C then C++ or Java or we can directly jump to Java and the answer is you can directly jump to Java. There is no prerequisite to learn Java. I mean there is no prerequisite that before learning Java you should learn C and C++. You can directly jump to Java. The only thing is you will find it difficult to understand the concepts just because you are learning two things. You, have, you are learning programming and then you are learning object oriented concepts. Because when you learn C programming, you only learn about programming, right? You learn about how to call functions, how to define functions. But in, when, it, when it comes to Java, you have to learn two things. Uh, the uh, 
programming concepts which is syntax and how to call functions how to call methods you also learn about objects and how to work with objects how to work with polymorphism all those stuff so if you know that you want to get into big data world and if you don't know programming that's fine you can directly learn java and it will work in fact it's my personal experience i'm training online for different different people there are some students in my batch who don't even know what is programming and then they are they are still trying to understand the concepts i mean they do understand the concepts and that's what i'm getting the feedback but then uh, but then it is possible you can directly learn java without learning any other language okay so if you know that you what you want to do based on that you have to select the language don't just go to c program language because everyone learns c first because i mean if you join any college if you join any degree the first language that they will teach you is c because they are not sure what you want to be and that's why they teach you c so that you will get into that get into that stack you know c c++ java then you will learn dot net and everything right but then if you directly know what you want to do go with that particular language so let me just recap if you want to get into web designing and web world go with our javascript you will love it because in fact nowadays using javascript you can build everything you know you can build a client side program you can write server side scripting now if you, i don't know if you have if you have heard about mean stack which is m e a n where m stands for mongodb e stands for express js a stands for angular js and n stands for node.js Using this mean stack, you can build the entire application. There is no need for Java or PHP or Ruby there. You can build everything using JavaScript. It's, it's a beauty, right? But then if you, want, if you want to get into Android development, if you want to get into big data development, then you have to learn Java, right? And if you, uh, you can actually start with Java. And if you want to get, learn programming language easily, you can go for Python. And if you're not sure what you want to do, start with C programming and you will love programming. So that's it. That's about this thing. What which language to learn? I would suggest you to go for JavaScript or C or Python, depending upon what you want to do. So that's it from this video. If you like this video, please click click on the like button and do subscribe for for the videos. Thank you so much for watching.